guys good morning good afternoon good evening welcome to smc with arewa my name is arewa i welcome you to my channel if you are new you can click on that subscribe button and don't forget to on your notification bell so you can get notified whenever i drop a new video so you can come and check it out also this is a yoruba and english channel so um thank you so much guys for joining me thank you for always coming back to this channel to happy ramadan to all our muslim brothers and sisters out there thank you so much for coming back here for any advert support a donation or for any discussion whatsoever my contact is going to be down below in the description box and i'm also going to leave it lying around in the comment section area and so don't forget to follow our two other channel history with arewa and intimacy with arewa um thank you so much guys for joining me this is going to be a very mm, quick or oh, no quick one um a shiggy diggy diggy on him okay see a wheel to lenny about me one confused did they grab your share and let's go on hmm. On today's episode of a SMC with Arewa, mo fe ki agbe enu si oro kan to nja royin royin. E ba mi wa nkan fi dile. Hmm. Ke re o. Ke kule ko gbo ko so fun toko. E gbe si akejo ko. Hmm. Lori eto leni. E de ba mi gbe omi si odo. O je kin si pi omi mi. Bi eh mo mi mi kan se ni kin se ma se. E ja tesi waju. Mo ti mu omi. Now only your rock tea and you see smc with arewa tea ekpe mi sepe i should put mouth in the situation it's it has to do with yeah four people and women are in con or corimeter or be in con near your there is a video that surfaced the internet some few weeks i'll be a week back or so um it has to do with a man me, um, I'm supposed to play the video, but I don't want to play it because uh, I'm just going to summarize what the person said and what the four of them said, and then we move from there. I'm just going to explain. Although the Buffalo video, but when you go or um, video and one two other speakers, to want to sort of um, which is um, Yinkati and T and um, uh, Yekudi, uh huh, Model is send the um a short production low in Boboy and Quiz Lord of Lusso or no. Uh, meanwhile, let me just explain what the four of them said, then we go from there. So, as I was saying, this is Mr. His name is Mr. Juwon. This is Meet Mr. Juwon. I think he resides in the US, but as you can see, his garment, I think, is a nurse or a doctor. I am um, like, I stand to be corrected, not very sure about that. So he called in a particular show, a show production. And I think they were discussing relationship, marriage, and the rest of it. So he called in to share um, an experience of his on that particular show, where he narrated that um, there was a lady he met, is in, the lady is in, resides in Nigeria, um, a very good lady. I want to man lost church here. Need to take polio kilo manu unwa unba drop. Omo pastor pe pastor goni baba omo no. Ipe omo no unba we unba drop. Omo dad omo to take you know a godly you know those S U now. Ni omo no ta want to drop. I want to read anything. I want my first silly to take be boche. So boom je she I want more inside. No man she mo I want more to take church. No twenty four hours. Want to believe it? I want more to be church hundred hours. Ni I want more da da onye onko Mister Um Jumwa. So he started dating the lady that he wants to marry her. He came to Nigeria. He spoke about how he give this lady one twenty k every week that he bought a car for his father. Even though he came out later to say it's a lie though. Because that was his intention, but not that he has actually done it. And he also wants to give the lady five million era to start a business that is he's saying all that for us to know that um he really wants to marry the lady because he has sent the lady to be his affairs. Mm -hmm. So that um one time a a time came when she got pregnant for him, but I think they lose communication. She aborted the pregnancy, you know, blah, blah, blah. They continue. So he said one time a, a guy called him and sent some stuff to him about the lady. Her name is Lade. I'm still going to talk about her own. So this lady, Lade, a guy by the name of Femi, I'm still going to say Femi's own, called him and sent some chat of Lade to him and uh, Lade is dating um one other guy like that. Lade is dating him, the Mr. Femi that spoke to this Mr. 
Jumo and uh, that Mr. Jumo, that Lade is this, so Lade is that, so blah blah blah. You know, sent different kind of pictures, even sent Lade's, you know, Iwowo nudity to Mr. Jumo from Mr. Femi, just to let this Mr. Jumo know that Lade is not what Mr. Jumo thinks like they is. You understand? Oh, sorry, she did she let it Lade Jeffun, Mr. Jumo, ye. Mr. Jumo, in there, when he I won't believe at first, but later, I won't lie, I won't for me low, I won't believe we go and see Mr. Femi, ye. See, oh, so fun, I won't. Now, Mr. Jumo is saying all this that uh, sometimes coming back to Nigeria to pick a wife, Nigeria, um, you know, your baba in Lati Mamu. Well, a cock on a while later, bro. One more year, one in Nigeria, Kiniko Kiniko, in Bacon, a walk on, or won't shake by a fun, or won't go off, or won't you want a ill, or won't you cock a loss, ill, or won't you bad on, or won't shake bar, or won't shag bon. Emma, once all this you should pay till that pay your money to one shake by 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 no money to she. That is what he's trying to portray in that is conversation on that video in Yellow Bay. Now, you're getting watching solo. This is a Lade Temi Tokwe. I name is Timmy Tokwe, but they call her Lade. Let's call her for the sake of this podcast. Let's call her Lade. Now, this is Miss Lade. I think she says she's 33 or 32 years old. Now, she is the one that is a, all this all controversy centers around. She's the one in between three men. Now, she explained her own side of the story. And like I said earlier, I do not want to play her voice or play the video because I don't want this podcast to be too long. So that is why I am, you know, trying to summarize all what they said. Now, she said she met Mr. Junwo on social media. They started talking, um, you know, he wants to marry her. Um, they want to do this, he wants to do that. So they started dating and, and the rest of it. That I think he said he used to, yeah, they started dating. Now, why not that Mr. Juwon came to Nigeria, uh, where he went to see him, I think in Lagos or thereabouts. I think she spent, was it three days or a week there or something like that? Uh -huh. That she spent probably, for the sake of this postcard, let's say three days. She, Mr. Juwon came to Nigeria. She went to see Mr. Juwon, which they've been you know dating a serious relationship even vow proud to him coming to nigeria you know them meeting face to face i bought to i bought now um she went to see him you know they got down together they did to see to see um later on she went back to she stays in akure she went back to akure and later on um that she would try to call him why he was in nigeria he would probably pick not pick a call or um, you, she, she will message him. He, he would not reply messages. And then, so she said at one time, after some few, I think um, weeks, maybe three or four weeks, she now saw a status of Mr. Jumo, where Mr. Jumo wrote something like, see if home, sweet home, I be, I do the ability or something like that. So she now, you know, messaged him or I think called him or messaged him that. So, and he picked it and said, oh, so you went back to America and then you didn't tell me. And then Mr. Juwon told her that, oh, Koma Binu, that some, an emergency came up. That is why he went back. She said, okay, oh, she kept quiet. So more, sometimes she will call him, he wouldn't pick her. You know, he continued in that same manner. She will uh, message and probably he will not message or he will message. I, I don't know, but that's the way she, she um, you know, narrated the whole thing. So after some, she said after three months, which I think it's a mistake for her because she said three months, that she found out that she was pregnant. Now, she found out she was pregnant and she wasn't, you know, seeing Mr. Juwon to talk to in order. Meanwhile, do not forget that there is Mr. Femi, which that Mr. Femi is a friend, you know, so to say, I'm quoting her, that Mr. Femi was a friend of her. Now, this Mr. Femi is a married man. She born or anyone and go 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 shame fair Jumo go say it Mr. Femi Komo because there's nothing going on because she, I think she she told Mr. Being friends now told Mr. Femi oh I met one Mr. Jumo um she and Mr. Femi has been friends now friends not probably she said they are not intimate friends then but they were just friends so probably I don't know why um, you know they feel so easy with her to be to be telling a relationship to Mr. Femi you know vice versa like that now. That eh, okay, Jumon is not picking a call. Blah, eh, um, what did you want? Basoro, what will pay? Ah, 
Don't back keep that. Ah, why will I keep this pregnancy? Say, uh, okay, she will give back to the baby and now start narrating to the baby. Uh, your father was one man that came to Nigeria from America one time like that. And uh, this did we did to see, to see, you know, that all those were what she thought. And then she went to remove the OU, the pregnancy. She went to terminate it. She terminated the pregnancy because of that particular reason which I just mentioned now. Now, she said that she, she does not even have money, that she developed com um, complication from the termination of the baby. Now, Mr. Femi was there, you know, like a shoulder to cry on, um, that he really stood by her or probably take good care of her during that process of the outbreak or the process of the removing of the baby, me uh, And that, what uh, Igba o awo o sha ni gbogbo nkan be yen awon sha o sha yorun yen and you know like that um and again Mr Juwon was um still not being stable according to how she narrated it that on wa koko wo pe e ti e wa na be she said like 6 months she and Mr Juwon did not you know speak or spoke to each other English language is not my language like I normally say so simba tabon sorry now she now said Mr Femi had been with her she now said let me kukuma date this one that is with me that I'm seeing. Meanwhile, he's a married man. And they've been friends even before she meeting Mr. Jumo, but they were not intimate. Now, she read dating, kukuma dating Mr. Femi. M meanwhile, Mr. Femi, it wasn't as if Mr. Femi wants to marry her. You know, probably, I don't know, but they just decided to, you know, can you hear But yeah, I want friends with benefit kind of situation, you know. Because according to her, it, it wasn't as if Mr. Femi wants to marry her because he's married. Of who is Mr. Femi later said he wants to marry her. Later, later on, he decided like he wants to marry her because he loves her as a second wife. Meanwhile, so what Mr. Femi? Wah wah wah. Never to wire on to a meeting another guy again. See, one will look away. Me, um, I can shatter. Tell me what I can shatter. For this case of this podcast, let me call that one Mr. Akin Shete. Now, before I go into Mr. Femi, um, before I now narrate Mr. Akin uh, you know, part of the whole uh, mess. Now, Mr. Juwon, do not forget. Okay, uh, okay, no, sorry. Now, that is where the whole thing started. So she told, she started dating Mr. Femi. Later, she met Mr. Akin in which Mr. Femi also knows about that one. Now, she said, uh, this Mr. Akin was in the uh, military army in the U.S., uh, he met him. Uh, he came to Mr. Akinche. They came to Nigeria, and you know, she and her friend went to um, visit him the first time that they saw. Um, he took them to probably shop right and told them to do some shopping. That she didn't take anything much because it wasn't key. Oh, mama, rukubaya elebini. Um, later on, uh, Ogba hotel, only hotel, two thousand naira. Oda kwe, Mr. Akinche, ten yego, awo akagon mu yego ni. Kwa mwa tenso kwe ah. No, imbata wo je. I want to run, but I want to run. Judge it on. Oh, I lost your hotel to buy. Only hotel two thousand naira. Go on, buy a hotel Beru. A hotel Umba. Hotel two thousand naira. We want to share the pay security wise. What should I do? Come in, come in. Oh, I rock up here. I'm a sumo. Just pay long. Just want to pay a lot. I want to pay a lot. I'm going to turn shee shee. Bad day, you know. I want to run. Shallow. So later on, oh, I need to pay back. I'm going to see bad on. Oh, I need to run back. Oh, I'm going to go away. She now said Mr. King Shetana came to Ibadan. In her own, she said she just rented an apartment. Came to Ibadan, you know, to meet her. And they started, you know, they are dating. And uh, Mr. Femi was carried along because she tells Mr. Femi all her relationships carried along. Although she said she has caught the intimacy part of she and Mr. Femi because it wasn't as if Mr. Femi wants to marry her. And since she has met Mr. King Shete, I think she caught the this thing between she and Mr. Femi, but they were still together or probably talking or let me say together mm -hmm, together now mr kinshete came to akure and uh, you know came to akure to meet her and uh, she said she just rented a room and a parlor and he came and that day he was there because uh, full stuff on say oh jerry that is still me he'll only he join him now oh any you know 
during all those things that Mr. Akinshede came to Akure in apartment to see her, she was chatting along with Mr. Femi, telling Mr. Femi, oh, in case of in case it is a combat, so go bun yefun, Mr. Femini want to you know. Oh one now shawani, oh what Mr. Kinshete was home, you know, after eating she wore a nightgown, they were at home. Now Mr uh Femi just burst in into her apartment and started creating a scene. I want to marry you. I will not allow you to marry this one. I will not allow you to marry this man. I want to marry you. I can make a kinico. And you know, one we are killing she FME. But you, me and you, we've, you know, there's nothing going on between me and you again now. Which one is you want to marry me? What was the mean? Eh, I just decided now that I want to marry you. I will not allow you to marry this man. I won't come. I will not allow you, to, uh, uh, this man to touch you. Now, there's a conversation during all these times that she was, she said, Mr. Femi came around 10 or 11 p.m. Me, what between we're not married, Martin Ball. On your message, on, they were chatting, okay, I want to come. Maybe when Mr. Femi knew about this Mr. Akinshata that is going to spend the night, in his own head, he probably gets that they will want to get down. Probably because of his own jealousy. Because he claimed that everything that he did was out of jealousy. He said, I want to love you. I want to love you. I want to love you. That particular night, still I didn't receive a visit of Mr. Akinshete, in which me, she and Mr. Akinshete was getting close. Now, he just burst into her apartment that same night and started creating a scene with her that he will not allow her to marry Mr. Akinshete because he loves her and, you know, she said she started crying. Later, Mr. Akinshete and Mr. Mr. Femi went outside and where Mr. Femi narrated what all what has been going on between he and she to Mr. Akinshete. Told Mr. Akinshete, even told Mr. Akinshete about one in, I mean, about one Juno, which she has dated before, you know, told Mr. Akinshete everything, even showed Mr. Akinshete their text, their chat, in which all those sent all the chat to Mr. Akinshete. You know, she said she was inside, she was crying. And when you call on this one, because Mr. Akinshete not spoke about it as well. But I'm going to get to that. Now, she now said, Mr. Femi showed Mr. Akinshete all our, uh, their conversations in which he was, he was even asking her, eh, so what are you people doing now? Are you guys, are, are you stop eating? Eh, don't allow him to touch you. Are you sure he did not touch you? What are you putting on? You know, <laughs> you know, those conversations were kind of funny. So, Mr. Femi, she has go boy. What she law? Then, this Mr. Femi now went to contact Mr. Jumo. Eh, this is Lade. This is what Lade did. Kiniko Kiniko Igbao Awo. That was what Mr. Tommy, Mr. Ojun once spoke about that. Mr. Femi contest. So it was when Mr. Femi got jealous of she being with me, Akin Cheto, that he went with Kakake Kuma JCC, Afisha Wadanuni. Because Otimo we pay Mr. Junwanye at Mr. Miss Lade Yi. Once she in sorrow, despite the fact pay, Omo we pay Lade like Mr. Junwan. You know, but you're probably with him. But yeah, maybe they might still come together or something like that. Oh, she affair. Mukuru lodo ele. Kotu mukuru lodo ele. No, kwa jepo wuni koni. That was what he did. So he went to contact Mr. Junwon and told Mr. Junwon everything that happened, how we met Mr. Kinshete, this and that, and with all those um, you know, nudist pictures and the rest of it. To Mr. Junwon. Oh, she bobo ye. Now she moved on. She and the Mr. Kinshete, they continued, according to her. Mr. Kinshete forgave, uh, uh, I just know you know me. So that, that, uh, Mr. Kinshete accepted, okay, that, that, that's your past. So they continued, where I, he, he, for, for, he told her that for you to know I want you, uh, I'm going to engage you. She ordered, she said she ordered for that, the ring was 14,000 naira. <laughs> he shocked, he shocked me too, a man that is coming from America. <laughs> 40,000 naira that she even paid with her money on which he returned the money to her later. So later on, they went back. He, that he took Mr. Kinshete to meet a pastor, um, you know, to pray that, uh, you know, the relationship has gotten to that even because it's bearing is lower. Um, so he went back to the U.S. But don't still yourself, but gone 5,000 go low full. Could I say lower one, but it won't fair bearing. Come out of the way, but I won't long while after being a companion. So you never know. Now, what is now bringing all this conversation up again? I will get to that. Now, let's listen to Mr. Femi part of the matter now.
like I was saying. Now, this is Mr. Femi, the married man. The one that started as a friend that ended as an intimate one. Mr. Femi narrated that, yes, she he was friend with Miss Lade before Miss Lade meeting Mr. Juwon and before Mr. Miss Lade meets Mr. Kinshete, that they've been friends, but nothing was between them. Then later on, when the all of uh, the pregnancy, you know, aborted and everything, they started Kukuma dating, that initially it was just, you know, and later on, he started falling in love with her. And then that particular night that he went to see Mr. Kinshete and created the scene was out of jealousy because he started loving uh, she. Uh, he knows about, uh, he basically knows about everything that has to do uh, the way Mr. Juwon did this. Uh, even he will tell Mr. Juwon that uh, she around to do so quick, kinikon, kinikon. Uh, she around to do quick. You know, for both men to know that truly, truly, she dealings with the both of them, he knows, he's aware of everything. So out of jealousy, lo unfi lo si ile yeni ijo yeni to unfi lo create pe unfe fe a second wife uni ni tori fe to uni sini ni kini koko kini kong out of jealousy ni unlo un contact Mr. Juwon to tell Mr. Juwon about what's going on and there is one that you know that night when he went to see her with Mr. Kinshete that he told Mr. Kinshete this and that and that you know break it down to Mr. Kinshete that they were dating no kini koko kini kong and the rest of it that he did all that. Because he was, you know, jealous and he wants to marry her as um, second um, wife. Um, so he basically narrated everything point black about the whole situation. That is Mr. Femi. Now, Mr. Femi is the first person that actually sent the nudity of uh, Miss uh, Lade to Mr. Juwon in order for in order to confuse Mr. Juwon about all the aproko that is doing to Mr. Juwon. Osha affair sobo boy. That if he bala a lady ye, kose kopo yo badja because bobo koto sonon to toni. Oh, we look at the nudity lady no. Now you might be wondering, pe, how did Mr. Femi even get a nudity in the first place? That's one question. Two, you might also be wondering that. Why is Mr. Femi so, um, you know, I mean, aggravated to that extent of, you know, of getting this, of moving from this to this, and then to the extent that he felt comfortable in, you know, munching the chats between she, between he and her to Mr. Akinshete, also to Mr. Juwon. Sorry, he didn't send chats between she and him to Mr. Akinshete. He did all that to Mr. Juwon. Mm, he did all that to Mr. Juwon and the rest of it. Now, again, he's a married man. So this issue of nudity that is causing, that brought this whole conversation out was started by Mr. Femi to Mr. Juwon before Mr. Kishete comes into the picture. Now, let's continue. Now, Mr. Akinshete came out and spoke about his own side of the story too. Now, there's two speakers that is at loggerhead because of this matter which I want to try to put my own two cents. Although I'm not going to, you know. Now, uh, Sister Yinka T and T treated this matter. Spoke with uh, Juwon, where Juwon called in and apologized to Lade, which I don't understand why Juwon is actually, like, like she basically make it look as if the girl, this Lade is the one, is the victim out of these three men. She was, she slept with those three men, oh. Oba Juwon soon. Oba eh, Femi soon. Oba Mr. Kinshete soon. Cheng Bao. Do not forget that Mr. Kinshete talked about that. Maybe he engaged this lady. But nobody is talking about that. That because he said he was going to threaten to bring out uh, one pictures. I wanted pictures say Was what is causing all this racket. Now, Sister Yinkati and treated the matter and then um, you know, um, you know, the way she talked about it, she didn't really eat where she's supposed to eat. Meanwhile, she, me, I basically look as if she picked her own area of focus in the whole matter, which is the area of Mr. Kinshete threatening that he wants to send out, um, you know, upload the nudity of this lady, which is sent to a friend of that lady. You know, so... 
that is why miss i mean sister yinkati and t focus because that is our own focus on that this whole issue no it's miss yinkati and t you know in which she uploaded the video of this man the picture and his phone number that the whole abiyama yet to start calling him oh let him have to show oh no if i post it oh oh i'm going to carry you go ahead go post it okay nico can you come what kind of a man must have come from my post it it will be in it or you will be a fella i fell anymore what kind of a man does that you got to be this is a young cat and ten in here area and i want to focus the lori now this mr king shete went to meet another speaker which is yeye kudi yeye kudi too what is this a young cat and ten a bow big gg bc so no we show a debi pe ala show a dura we pe ye ye kudi awon mu ibi ta won fe lo lori oro yen eyin na ti gba pe ibi ta yin na o fe lo lori oro yen na le yin na mu yes ye ye kudi o pe gbogbo awon party si yi ki ye ye kudi to ma jajo titi won eyin pe gbogbo party but mr kinshe to respond nice si ni to re ni argument ni ta te pe won you know fine ye ye kudi o pe gbogbo party in kan ti ye ye kudi ni lo is what he could pick, which is the side of why is Mr. Kinshete the one thrown under the bus between all these four people? That his number was, you know, revealed that everybody should start calling him, everybody, uh, you know, writing a letter to his work, um, to his where he worked, that they should sack him because of Kiniko Kiniko. That he said he wants to post the uh, this thing, naked picture of this lady, in which he has not posted you, but he was threatening to. Now, Mr. That is the area of focus that Ye Ye Kudi picked. That why is it that this man is one thrown under the bus? What happened to Mr. Femi that started this whole matter? What happened to this woman that is between these three people in the first place? Oh, she declared that the uh, Miss Yinkati and T eat the identity of Lade, eat the identity of uh, Mr. Femi and the red, but the identity of Mr. Kinsheta is the one being exposed. That why is it the one being thrown under the bus? Sister Yinkati and T no, I wanna if it won't know Mulo Loro and to come on a la ni quick but money in the fair two you will want more sit alone or no mulo no no. Baby Sherry, I won't speak a major gin yet on fema and you know Lori or ye. Now moving on. Mr. Kinshete said you could be wondering that how did Mr. Kinshita even how did these three men even link together in the first place? Now, when Mr. the, vi the viral video of Mr. Juwan that went viral was what Mr. Akinshete you know saw. Now, do not forget Mr. Akinshete and Miss uh, Lade want to break off engagement. More. They had uh, Miss Miss Lade you know narrated what happened how Mr. Uh, I can share this and that, but me, I don't want to. All those ones is not even really necessary. But they he engaged that, but want to break up. Mm -hmm. Now, the video that Mr. Juwan did was what Mr. Akinshete did and was like, ah, Orote Mani, so you fed your Romeo. He now reached out to the platform in which Mr. Juwan called in to speak. That okay, this man that said this, please, can you contact, can you link me with him? And he said he knows that. They will probably not want to disclose, I mean, I mean, dis, I mean, uh, disclose the number of Mr. Juwan that spoke on that particular show. He now said he dropped his own number to that person that please give this man to call me. The story that this woman talked about, I think it has to do with me too in the picture. So me, that is the that is how Mr. Kinshete and Mr. Juwan connected. Then I started talking. Now you know now they are talking between uh uh you know two uh men that dated the same woman and then you know some of you be think in your midget yet me and we made the lady she buy from the lady she buy from a minute she was quite like a midget in here and my sorry she did she or and my family so i want to nick by any no and ah oh believe me ah she mr film is a photo she buy and hey what you say no i'm going to film no lele yo i'm going to say no 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 see your battery in cover here Definitely, original one, Roma Jade. Meanwhile, Mr. Femi connected with Mr. Jumo. That is how Mr. Jumo connected with Mr. Kinshida because both 
all these three men, it, it, it isn't as if this Miss Lady was dating the three of them at the, at the same time. But definitely, Oshie Tusi Tusi Kela Ometeta. Oshie Tusi Tusi Kela Ometeta. Shubon, Oshie Pabu Yo Deti Bubu Wani E Konon. Ni temi, Inye, according to Miss Ladeo, according to Miss Ladeo, a close, our intimate friends with benefit relationship between Mr. Femi and she ended when she got serious with Mr. Kinshete. Even though Mr. Femi does not want it to end because he had made up his mind to marry her second wife. And that is not the way to even go about it if you want to marry her second wife in the first place. Now, be a bubble on here, so she jenny at tea. I will be able to sneak me, Mr. Kinshete, but the local way or my release. Vidue. Nengba ti o mwa ti Mr. Juwon. Ti mwa connect. They started communicating. Eh, he did this to her. Look at this conversation. They started, you know, exchanging conversations they had with she. And the one they had with even this Mr. Femi. That started this whole matter. They are. Ah, I have a picture of this. Uh, he will wear. Lele yo. Ah, Mr. Femi said he will wear. No, say me no. Won't do it. Stay di. I won't reach this in. Kanto do ni ni pa eni. Yeah, ti Mr. Femi gon. Ati wo wo e no. You know, now, if you go away, you know, you tell me, honestly, somebody can be die, join you. So, my own opinion, all these four people, Bobo, only fought it. Ben, Bobo, Mr. Bobo, Mr. Kishete, ni fought it. Shubo, fought it, Mr. Kishete, die, ni. Mm, die, ni, ye. He didn't mean so bad, although, but she knew, fake, baby, where is it, ye? She be, lady, you know, so we pray, oh, when ni, wo, wo. Mr. Kishete, no, Sita. Oh, you can't tell me that you can't tell me. But you shall know what you can't tell me. You know. But, Mr. You know, but, Miss, eh, uh, Yeyekudi is saying it as if, pe, ti yon ban binu. Ko si yon ko ti yon le so. I pe, itara lo ta, Mr. Kishete, to fin so, bo, bo, fin kreti, bo, bo, yen. I pe, itara ni. I nye bo, she so, that is the, uh, excuse of Mr. Kishete that itara be on shen tara pe eh kini kon kini kon ni ni bobo reaction ye that it wasn't as if he was going to do it but Mr. Kishete you send it to our friend now you don't have plan to release it to the public but you send it to our friend although he now said Chibit is our friend pe inu bibilon bi awon that is Mr. Akinshete's excuse now Mr. Junwo gone ni for titie. How can you say you you, you are saying you're fair your silly? Three months ago, eh, just saw road. They wanted to do a without seeing her. It's not like are you really sure you actually had plan to marry this girl? I don't understand how this woman that you say you want to wear, you claim that you you give her one twenty k every week. You bought car for her father, which he came. He said it in his previous interview, but he came out and said it's a lie because. Bubu koton wuni plan la ti she tell her ni shubon koti kebo yon wuti she. But ti bate en soro lodo e shon ye. E so wu pe e ti she. E en so be ni pe e ti she ni. Inye no ni fo ti ti yaw. She e wari mister. Fe mi yi go 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 go. Ta ba te ni pe oke miss la de. Adot ni. Un koto ba un kofi pun nene she. To ba un koma. Koma. Koma fe o koni ma un pe at the same time. Un lo ni pun nani en koto un kofi she. Only for the TL, only for the TL, but excuse it on one on the weekly. She won't know when you're around, only when you put an eon, you got to buy one who live with she, who live for only met at the same time. So, yeah, it's for the you got to excuse it, Miss Laden. Now, the excuse of Mr. Juan was, eh, he was busy, something came out, that was why he went back, and eh, he was. You know, literally busy over there. That is why they come. Uh, that is why uh, everything that happened happened. That is only excuse because during that time that she was pregnant, she did not see him to talk to. Be a ko batima yo yu ye. But ni to di pe ni to unu yifu gomu ori. Eni to wani jira ta ari ra to de pada lo to usofu mi. Te pe start us emuti di po pada. Muwa fanda ko mono ni neta. Muntu alati communicate but you know. Now I wanna give excuse to di pe ishe lo po fa mo. That is the excuse of Mr. Jumon. Hey, George, you're a yo. Hey, yo, George, you're consult him in yo. Now, Mr. Femi, you go, 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 go. Let me feel who you're going to be. Only you can't be able to go to the car room or lorry. Only you can't be able to go to the lorry room. Because you're going to be. Think about it. You're going to be able to go to the lorry. You're going to be able to go to the lorry. 
to oni ya wo e sile o you have your own wife at home o o wa wa o wa create a scene o tu wa jealous to the extent wi pe o tu wa lo n pe ex boyfriend eju won lati lo ma so di sudi oro fun lati lo ma ba obirin ye je lati lo ma send iwo wu e si mr femi ye mi mr ju won ori mr akinse te pelu e o lo pe sita o n ro gbogbo eju e lady yi eni to ti feri eni ti o feri kini kan kini kan mi gba o o tu fe awon wuwu e on lori phone nu eni jo ti wa ti e jo n soro now bi gbogbo awon speaker to ti soro le lore bi won se wa mu mr femi po won gogo gogo ni o dada to bere gbogbo nkan yi ohun ni ko wa ye mi o niko lo du temi mr femi ye gogo 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 ohun lo ye ki identity e ki o se kini to fly around you Oh, we lo yeko because excuse don't want give you pay out of jealousy. Ni. That excuse is not really, really that you know valid to me. Oh, to me. Oh, that excuse is not valid enough to me. And he should be the one to be thrown under the bus out of these three men. Irrespective of Mister Kishete threatening, threatening loan so. Nipa to depe on wuni koni won di gugwe rule lori tretni ni o odo o send the si ore oni shebi ore lo wu send the si on wo di plan po because bo shen kan won lara ni o wun shen she bo gongo to wun shen bo go waka la ma il easily meanwhile Mister Femi yi le miro wukwe o yaki won ju sabe bossi o wun lo bere bo gongo my viewers e George Oroy. Bonus amebo, mm, I said bonus amebo. Eja wo video Prince Tade ni kawo ogunusi baby boy wa. Look at this video, lovely boy. Prince Tade ni kawo enjoying a little lullaby from a a omo Angie baby Angela. That is the daughter of CEO Lumini, the fashion designer Taylor. Mm. So, you know, you are uh, Olori Naomi Naomi Lili, Prince Tadeni Kawuni. Very beautiful baby. Please, nobody should come and tell me this is not the prince. This is the prince. Mm. 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 Mm.